hidupku. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another stream. I think this is my third one on the gaming channel. So just wanted to play some games tonight. Figured, all right, why, why don't I stream, continue building that uh, that endogamy point on uh, City Skyline. So I see we've got a few people in here. So uh, comment, let me know who's here. I see we've got people on Twitch and YouTube. So not a lot of people, but a few. So maybe a few more people might be... Uh, stumbling in here i don't know the channel's not that big yet so um actually you know what before i get started what i can do i'll share it on my uh main channel so no comments yet <laughs> not a talkative group tonight um but yeah, for anyone uh, that uh, wasn't on the stream last time, we were building a city in city skylines, not two, but one. And we named it Endogamy Point. We have a bunch of different genealogy related names. So we'll continue building that. Um, and uh, as we go along, hopefully I'll get suggestions from uh, everyone in the chat about um, what to name everything. So I'm just putting out a post on uh, my main community. Let's see if we can get some, some people in here. So, I wonder if it'll do a live stream with that. No, it doesn't. So nobody's commenting. <laughs> if you hear comment, let me know that you're here. Uh, but we'll get started in a second. Of course, I have a uh, different map up in the background. I'm doing a different map every time I do a stream. So if you uh, guess the map in the background, you get a thumbs up from me, I guess. <laughs> not, not that much, but hey. Just do this one. Thumbnails. Where do I stream? Okay, maybe that'll get some some more people in here. Oh, okay. Hey, Emerson. Thank you for joining us. I see how we've gotten had a few more people hop in. So, all right, let's get let's get rolling on actually doing some gameplay. And of course, throughout the stream, I'll be talking genealogy. So, if you have genealogy questions, ask away. I should do entire screen. Let's actually let's try. <laughs> I'm still kind of learning the whole streaming thing, what's best and what's not. So okay, this should there we go. All right. Hello, Monique. Thank you for joining. All right. So I have a good I have a good amount of DLCs, but I don't have all of them. I think these are ones that I, I need to buy. I think when I looked at it, I have about 19. The next thing I need to do, I need to get um, I need to get some what do you call it? Uh, mods. 
There's some mods I've been looking at to get. So I know Anarchy's one of them. I want to get the mods that allow like more in-depth uh, manipulation on the roads and stuff. Oh, you're guessing Endogamy Point is Chicago? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know Chicago would be Endogamy Point. I would think more would be like Quebec or something, you know? Or even better, New Orleans. New Orleans. The map. Oh, you, the map behind me. Mm, it, it not. Unfortunately, you're wrong. Unfortunately, it's not Chicago. I will say, the one that I have behind me, it might be a little bit harder to figure out for people not from there just because I think it's the way I have it at least laid out it um, it's not the typical way so okay so here's what we've got so far okay I was gonna say we, we split it up into our neighborhoods so we've got ancestral park which I think was basically like the, one of the last things I was building up when we last did this we've got all of our different stuff but we've got a ton this green bar right here that's a that means we have a ton of people that want residential so we're going to need to expand on residential um and then this is kind of just a role having all of the water lines all set up um but let's see what do we want to build because, all right, so we've built our park. And actually, one thing we can do is we can go in and do a couple of policies. So right now I'm going to make this the main park. Uh, we've got recycled. And we're going to do night tours because we put all those lights in. And then uh, I'm not going to worry about any other stuff. So that'll be interesting to have. And we have all of these other roads here. We've got our... Autosome Hills, which is where we're doing a lot of the uh, industry. So, uh, yeah, then Charlie Way, named after Charlie, who I, I don't think is on the stream tonight. I didn't see him in Discord like he usually is. I mean, it's super late where he is. He's, you know, he's in the... Uh, is he in Ireland or somewhere in the UK? I'm going to see him in Ireland. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, he's going to hop in the stream here that and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you don't know where I am. So I see more people coming in. Um, all right, so what do we want to build? Well, I guess before we start really building, let's just make sure we're pretty good on all of our stats. So healthcare, death care, we haven't gotten started yet. Healthcare, we've got that one building, which is more than enough. And then I don't think we've even started on anything else. Is that it? Yeah, that's that's it. All right, so we don't have to worry about that. Do we have fire? And yeah, we do. Um, we've got pretty good coverage, but you know, I'm gonna put another one. Do we have pretty good money? How much are these things? Twelve thousand. That's like most of our money. Oh, Charlie is here. You are in England. Okay. I, I thought that you were, but I just wasn't a hundred percent sure. For some reason, I was like, is he is he in Ireland? But I didn't think you were. Ah flying off to the side um all right what do we have police wise we're good education wise oh we do have we've got a high school and we have elementary school so we need to put we need to get some education in here oh we do have an elementary school we don't have a university yet all right so let's put that down so I'm gonna put in another elementary school just so we can make sure everyone's everyone's getting good service. All right, let's uh, we'll plop that down here because I yeah, we'll do it right there just to make sure we've got enough room for the road. And then of course we don't have any more money. All right, so let's let this thing build. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Can't stay, but excited. Thank you for jumping in for the second. <laughs> and then Irish ancestry. Okay, I, 
I guess you also you're you're one of the mods or admins on um, the Irish Discord, right? All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Where do we want to go? Let's go over here. Get that sped up. Definitely, we need to make some money. Oh, we're running out of energy. Yeah, we gotta get energy going on. Um, oh, you know what? I wonder if we could do this. Just build like the most random little. There you go. Like I'm thinking, I'm just gonna build. This is just gonna be an island that's just gonna be. This island is just going to be for, like, the energy stuff that is polluting everything. Turn that off. Gosh, I hate how it does it. I need to figure out how to make it so it doesn't do that every time I uh, try to move this. All right, so. Kind of cheating with what I'm doing right now, but whatever. Whatever, I'll do what I want. All right, so we're just gonna build a little thing there. Actually, I guess maybe it can't. Nobody can reach it, so maybe that's not the best idea. All right. yeah, I didn't think about that. All right, we're just gonna plop another one over here. We're gonna get some more energy in our town. So we have the other one right there. So yeah, I'm just gonna plop it here for now. All right, so, yeah, I guess we, we've got to kind of wait for a lot of stuff to become available. Um, yeah, we don't really have a lot of money to do a whole lot of stuff anyway. I guess I need to get some more housing going, so let's just go ahead and get those set up. Make this block. Wait, no, that's not what I want. I want to do that. Turn that down a little bit. Am I building Charlie's homeland? I don't know. Ooh, okay. Boomtown. So now we've got a lot of stuff. And yeah, wow. All right. So we can buy a new square. That's a huge thing. So we need to buy a huge square. Why is the map red and blue? Oh, the one behind me? I mean, it's it's kind of a historic map, and so they always, you know, they use different coloring to indicate different stuff. I'm looking through the comments, I still don't see anyone who's been able to name the uh, map behind me. All right, so we have transport, uh, level three unique buildings, ferries, walking tours, bus, taxi tours, post office. We can build or industry specialization. That's great. Recycling, <laughs> recreational use, prefer ferry. All right, we get a lot of new policies, and then we have a whole lot of new roads. So I guess a lot of these roads kind of go with um, some of the stuff. All right, now we're going to have the death care, elder care, child care, all that stuff. So hopefully, I think we get a bunch of money. Yeah, we get a bunch of money for becoming a uh, larger area or whatever. So one thing we get to do is we need to choose which way to go. Um, and I think the last time we talked about it, I was saying either north or uh, east, just because north we have the rail line so we can connect into that. Why is the map red and blue on the game? Oh, um, I don't know if, uh, I don't think it's, unless I had it on a special screen. Oh, that, like that screen. So it's just different screens show different pieces of information. So this is the electricity grid. So all of the blue indicates that it's connected to the grid. And yeah, so then there's the water. So it shows where everyone's connected to the water. And uh, yeah, they have all sorts of all sorts of stuff. So, okay. So I definitely want to expand a good bit. I'm wondering how long we should let this run because I definitely want to build up some money. Oh, that's going okay ah gosh i hate that it does that to me 
Hey, just saw that you were live. Do you have a schedule for when you'll do these live streams so I know in the future? With the gaming ones, it's kind of just uh, as I please sort of thing. Um, I haven't really put a whole lot of thought into the gaming ones. They've just been kind of like, I love gaming. I'm full-time now on YouTube, so why don't I just do gaming stuff when uh, I want to game? Um, maybe if I can build this into something a bit more, maybe I'll start doing it a bit more um, routinely, I guess. But right now, nothing set. The only thing I can say that's set is I'm aiming for doing a live stream every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it'll, it'll be different channels. Usually it'll jump back and forth between... Um, either the main channel or the reaction channel, which I think this week I'm going to do a uh, another Reddit question uh, one. But yeah, so those are the ones that you can really count on. These gaming ones, they're going to be random, I think, for now at least. So yeah, and I, but I will say for most of these ones, the gaming ones, they'll probably usually be late night because during the days I'm like, you know, need to get stuff done. Late night just feels very gaming hour for me. that is the map somewhere in portugal no so the first guess so far was chicago uh which is what monique asked and that's not correct but that is much closer to the correct answer than portugal so there's a little little hint for you so all right let's get back to to the game um, all right, I have 48,000. I think that's good enough. I think I want to build on this side, but we need to make some money. I definitely, let's see how expensive are these. I think I want to go north because what I'm thinking is now we have, we have the ore. We have forestry too. No, we don't have forestry yet, but we do have, I thought we had, it said we had ore. I thought we had something. Maybe we don't. Okay, completely misread that, or it's meant something completely different. Um, all right, we've got some stuff in here. All right, so we're not going to be able to do a big thing with making a lot of money there. I think we're just going to need to expand the city. I'm wondering if I want to go ahead and buy this tile, though, because I definitely want to be connected to the railroad. Yeah, we're going to do that. How expensive? 5,500. Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right. Got a bit more going on now. So now we're going to want to do stuff with this railroad eventually. So we'll need to remember that. And then actually, all right, what do we, okay. So we've got a lot of farming and then ore all the way up in the north and a ton of forestry. So once we get to that, what's our next? Okay, so this is telling us what we get. Yeah, or industry specialization, mine or from, yeah. Well, then why won't it let me? Here's the ore. We need to set down one of the main buildings, but nothing's available. The only thing available is the fence. <laughs> yeah, 5,500. Great deal for that much land. Yeah, although it's 5,500, whatever this symbol is. <laughs> Not real world money. But yeah, that'd be amazing. Go buy this much land for $5,500 these days. Is the map somewhere in the southern United States? So the map is not in the southern United States, but it is in the United States. Um, and I will say, I guess, I'm trying to think which is closer, Chicago or southern U.S. Depends on where you mean in southern U.S., but yeah, you're, uh, yeah. <laughs> Still kind of same, same, yeah, cold, hot from Chicago. Um, all right, so we're going to do forestry over here. Yeah, we'll do the forestry over here, and I think what I'll do is I'll expand the neighborhood this way. And I wonder, can we bring tourism in? already built our city park tourism now can we build a zoo oh we could build a zoo who want yeah let's build a zoo all right so we're gonna we're gonna expand this neighborhood and then we're gonna build a zoo over here 
Because this area, I think, is going to end up, especially with these rocks and stuff, and that for I think we'll kind of turn this into more of a touristy, touristy thing. Especially because we all we have our our poop water over here. That's how you, you can see. That's where we're dumping all of our uh, all of our uh, what, whatever it's called sewage. So. <laughs> cheese uh but yeah so we'll turn this into tourism so we'll build a zoo over here so all right we'll just kind of build guidelines so mm, yeah i want that to line up even though it's not perfect we'll do one that and want that to curve Ooh, that looks nice. That looks nice. And then that'll curve that way, and then we'll eventually expand somewhere. Um, let's do, we'll do it out to here. And then, yeah, that didn't really even matter. <laughs> didn't really even matter. All right, this one we will get that nice curve in there um so we'll build a neighborhood in here and then we'll put a zoo up over here um so i want to build oh, a little further wait no let me turn this off just a little further and i'm gonna I'm going to split this in half to kind of make it a little bit more blocky. Let's do another one of these over here. So one thing is I'm building this, we need to think of what are we going to call this new neighborhood? So it's going to be in the zoo. We want it to have some... Oh stuff's falling off my desk we wanted to have a genealogy related name something that's very genealogy related no schools but a zoo i love it well we're gonna put in a high school but we do have uh we do have elementary schools one right there and right there and you can see it's red over here because they don't have access to any good elementary schools over there but we'll put in a high school and other stuff too um so, all right, so let's paint some stuff over here. So the zoo, we can actually, ooh, let's make the zoo around these rocks, basically. So, like, the rocks will kind of be, like, part of the zoo aesthetic, the mise-en-scene. Um, all right, so let's paint some uh, neighborhood. So we don't want anything against the circle we want that clear because that's the on and off for the highway but i think i am gonna get this to be retail we don't have much <laughs> want for retail but just throw some in there while we can and then this is gonna be all actually you know this is gonna be kind of a main street i wonder if i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this street so it's something decent. I should probably actually do one of these, but it's probably gonna destroy stuff. Yeah, whatever. We we need to do it. We've gotta move the school. But I think we need to do that because eventually, I mean, this is gonna be a big street, so. This is gonna be like, uh, the Pacific Coast Highway of uh, Indagami Point. So, probably should have done that this way too, but whatever. All right, so we're going to move this back it's over here. And then let's get back to painting. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, part of what I was thinking was... We're going to want a lot of this on the main way. We're going to want that to be retail. Don't want to lose that house, though. So I'm going to unpaint a lot of this. Especially the stuff that kind of got knocked down. 
then we're gonna repaint it. So, anybody coming up with uh, any names? I haven't seen any in the chat. I know we had some uh, ideas of other names in the last in the last stream that were ones that we we're gonna save, which I think one was DNA something. Because I remember we were gonna build a, a helix shaped, double helix shaped uh, road or something like that. All right, so. We want to build a road in here to split that up. Maybe we'll wait for it. So we'll build that for now, like that. Take that little one out. Let's let that build up, get some more money, and we'll build. We'll start thinking about this zoo over here. So main gate will definitely be along that road. Oh, we need to. Geez, I forgot to. I forgot to give them water. Those poor people. Forget that whole go by the road thing. I'm just going to cover it easiest as need be. All right. So we'll let that go. A name for what? We need to come up with a name for this neighborhood, this new neighborhood we're building. So right now we have all of these neighborhoods, which this now this neighborhood is going to be kind of its whole own thing. So we need to name this neighborhood, whatever, whatever this is going to be named. It's going to give us an automatic name, but we're going to change it unless it ends up being something cool. Briar Rose Hill? Nah. <laughs> Briar Rose Hills. All right. So we've got to come up with a name, a new name for Briar Rose Hills. So, all right, let's... <clears throat> Because right now we do we've got Pedigree Heights, Charlie Way. Oh, we need to get a lot of other stuff going too. All right, we've got we need to get Death Care. So we need to get Elder Care. All right, so where do we want to put this? We want to put this kind of towards the new neighborhoods. Yeah, let's put the Elder Care right here. Because I don't want to make too I don't want to get stuff too close to over there because there's going to be all that noise from the highway. Uh, yeah, we'll do it right there. Um, then we need to get a cemetery. <laughs> they need to bury people now. Now, Haplo Hills, that's pretty good. Now, this is kind of funny because, you know, with the cemetery, one of the things that's really disturbing as a genealogist is in the game, the cemeteries can fill up too much, and if that happens, you can then empty them, which is a thing that actually happens in real life. Um, you know, it varies depending on the cemetery and the laws and the areas that it is, but that is not an uncommon thing that, you know, they will exhume a huge amount of people from a, uh, a you know, cemetery so that they can make it available for more people to be buried there. Uh Let's put it... Ooh, that'll fit, like, perfectly in there. We'll put it right there. <laughs> nice cemetery near the zoo. Visit your ancestors, then visit the animals. All right, so... Things are moving along a little bit more. All right. Since nobody else has said anything, we're going to go with Charlie's. Oh, Ancestral Arbor. That's pretty good. Ancestral Arbor. Although we do have Ancestral Park already. So I, I am going to go with Haplo Hills on this one. But I definitely like the whole Arbor or something. Ancestral. I mean, it's really good with the Ancestral because you've got that, you know, AA. Yeah, Haplo Hill is good. Haplo Hills. Haplo Hills. All right. Actually, oh, yeah. I want to... Um, Upgrade the, the streets in here. It's going to cost the, hopefully not too much money. Basically just trying to make this neighborhood a little bit nicer. So, all right. So we're going to let that go. We need to build a little bit of money so that we can then start building the zoo. Because 
Yeah, the gate's going to cost 5000 And then each of the items that we're going to need to build to start out. 2000 1500 Yes, yeah, so we're going to probably need to get to at least 20 to to be able to start building the zoo. Um, which means we've got to hold out for hold out for some other stuff that we need to build too, schools and all of that. So then there's also we can we'll want to start building metro and all of that. I don't think we need to worry too much about public transport because um I mean, our, <laughs> there's barely anybody here yet. It's so slow. Or the traffic is so slow. Not slow, but I guess not slow. Yeah. It all makes sense. I'm sure I'm making complete sense. The house? Oh, that place was abandoned. Drugstore 2.0. All right. We're up to 13,000. Is the Elder Care a retirement village? I think basically that is what it is. It's just a retirement village sort of thing. So, yeah. It uh, looks like apartment. In fact, that reminds me of some of the apartments I remember at my great-grandmother's um, retirement home. And that was back in the 90s. So, all right. 19,000. I guess we can... Yeah, no, I want to wait until we get a good amount. We'll need to figure out how much of this to make for the zoo. And actually, one thing I am thinking, though... I'm going to put the zoo kind of like one road up. Oh, yeah, we can do tolls if we want. So I'm going to do the zoo just kind of like one up. That way it can really kind of be right there. So I think we've got enough money to start. I think we got enough. All right. Small zoo main gate. Zoo main gate. That's what we want. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I think we'll start here because we want the path to kind of go around the, the rocks. All right. So we've started that. Now we have all of this stuff that we need to place down, but we need to set our zoo uh, stuff. Where is it? Is it over here? Oh, that's right. It's a park, so I've got to paint it like that. All right. Holy Zoological Garden. So this is something else we need to figure out. What are we going to name this zoo? Definitely want to give ourselves a large amount of space just to be ready for it. But what do we what do we want to name this zoo? Ancestral. We could name it something like Ancestral Zoo. <laughs> uh, you know what I do want to do? I do actually want to put a road in here. Just paint a paint a little bit more. Not too much, just kind of make a bit of a neighborhood. Make a little bit more money. Oh, yeah. Another part that's kind of important. Having the water. Stand that out. Stand that out so we don't have to worry about it. Exogamy. Heritage Zoo, Exogamy Zoo. I like Exogamy Zoo. That's funny. <laughs> it's kind of the perfect uh, opposite to our endogamy point. I think, I think that wins. I think we'll call it... Uh, yeah, should we... Yeah, we'll just call it Exogamy Zoo. Exogamy Zoo. All right. Thank you, Emerson. 
And then did we have... All right, yeah, we do need to... I think I'm going to need to paint... Half of it. Because being that it's next to the zoo, you know, make it our retail stuff. And this is our residential. We'll get kind of a lot of both. All right. So let's let it run a little bit. We need to make a little bit more money so we can actually build the zoo. Um, so one thing we'll want to build is the fence, and then we'll want to build the paths. So, all right, let's kind of, let's build the fence first. So, how far out did I go? Actually, let me see. Okay, I only went out that far. All right. So, I think... That's good. I know I went real far out here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess that fence isn't going to be perfect, but hey, whatever. Nothing's perfect. All right. Do that. Do that. Oh. I have to do kind of crooked, too. Jeez, this, this is going to be the crooked zoo. That's what it should be called. No inbreeding allowed at the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's turn this off because I want to try to get it to line up with that. All right, I think that's a pretty good start. Let's see how I got that with coverage. Ooh, that's pretty uh, pretty good. Let's kind of clean it up so it fits fits into this oddly shaped fenced area that I've created. That will be Exogamy Zoo. And then we need to build our pathways. We're gonna build them simple now. Um, I definitely want to build around this rock as kind of like a big mainstay. Turn that on. So I'm going to go up to here. And then let's do our curve tool and then kind of curve around. No, that's, let's go further up. Yeah, that looks good. So... I want to kind of have a curve a bit more. And maybe we'll have something back here if it'll fit. <laughs> and then basically I'm I'm right now I'm kind of thinking I'm trying to make like a big circle path around the entire zoo and then I can kind of build as I need to. Is the map in any of the states nearby Chicago? Uh, let's see. How many states away? I mean, it's only, I guess, maybe it's within about three or four states distance. So, but don't think of that distance as like, like, actual distance distance but more of like you know three or four states in between um let's build kind of like a big straight away right here yeah. and then we'll have it kind of back around right there perfect all right so that's a good start so now we need to just plop down our other little buildings so we've got our zoo plaza which, oh yeah, it's the plaza, so let's... I wonder how many, if we should do two. I wonder if I'll destroy the rock. We don't want to destroy our rock! You know what? Because we have the rock, this is going to be Exogamy Rock Zoo. I don't know why, but that just sounds, what, that just sounds right. Tell me what you all think. Exogamy Rock Zoo, does that sound good? So, all right, so we've got our zoo plaza. 
We've got a ton of trees throughout this place. Um, all right, so now we need to do, we've got a little cafe. Uh, oh, that's a shame it doesn't fit from the rocks. Um, okay, let's do the, we'll do the cafe kind of across from the park. Souvenir shop, that'll go at the front, maybe. Apparently not. <laughs> we'll do it right in here too. I, yeah, we'll, we'll do it right here on this path. That, does that make sense? No, let's keep it right here. All right, and then we have restrooms. Definitely right at the front. Yeah, that's good. That fits. We don't destroy our rock. All right, now we need to get the actual animals and we don't have enough money. And we don't have enough money. How much more money? Wow, we need to get, let's see, 10, 25, Wow, forty thousand dollars, and we're at two thousand. All right, we need to we need to let this thing build right now. Everyone's gonna get to go to a zoo, and all they get is a plaza, a cafe, a souvenir shop, and some restrooms, and then a big long path around some rocks. It's a pretty badass zoo, if you ask me. <laughs> stuff is going okay making some money <laughs> making some money we need we got we have a lot of money to get we have a lot of money we need to get checking some of my uh, stream information stuff on YouTube while it's kind of well, I'm kind of just letting the time go here actually I wonder while it does that I can do the cinematic camera Ooh, <laughs> some cinematic views of endogamy point everybody Jeez, it is like glitching out hard. What is going on? I wonder if it meant to do that. That was weird. That was just like a... Huh. All right. So let's see. How, how much money do we have? 16,000. I think we have enough money to put down like one of the, yeah, we have enough money to put down one of the things. The good thing is, is at least we're making, we're making a lot of weekly income. Looks awesome. Yeah, it does. So we're going to have to, once we finish this zoo, then we need to put down a lot of other stuff. Um, let's see. Crime. We don't have to worry about firefighting. Oof, yeah, we'll need to worry about that. Health stuff. We might need to worry about child care. It's doing, it's doing all right. Um, and yeah, there's stuff we can kind of figure out as we go along. But all right, let's keep it rolling. Um, I might do some just basic, basic expansion over on this side. Just so we can get... Just so we can get a little bit more building out here. Just kind of trying to follow the coastline. So let's do this straight. Yeah, that's good. That's good for now. Build this out. What we can do is we'll make it kind of flow there. And we'll do a bunch of these. Um, which way do I want that to go? I want it to go that way. That just seems that seems good. 
Suddenly, the I that idea is taking off in the Discord. Oh, the genie fairy thing. I was like, wait a second, what? I didn't notice your first message. Yeah, no, the genie fairy. I, I don't know if you saw. I posted about it on Twitter along with that little genie fairy image you created or somebody created. I mean, it, it is kind of a fun idea, you know? Um, so, I've, I mean, I've watched a couple of those Grave Restoration channels, although sometimes those worry me because, you know, if some of those people do it and they really don't know what they're doing, they can really damage the graves. And that's just, you know, nobody really wants that, you know? Um, all right, let's just let that go as we kind of fill this in. We need to make sure we give them water. <laughs> That's been that's been kind of a theme, me forgetting to give them water. Alright. Speed this up. Alright, still no uh, no guesses on the map behind me. Wonder if I should let me let me scoot to one side, see if any hints come about. We try to build our money up. I think I want to get to 30000 so I can put in these two of I wonder if it's making any money. Wow, people are coming in to pay to just <laughs> pay to see no animals. <laughs> there are no animals in the zoo and people are paying. Oh, yeah, with Millennial Grave Cleaner. Yeah, Um I've seen some of uh, some of the videos from that channel before, and I, I've I've liked what they put out. And then I did see that video, and that's actually that's obviously now in uh, my list of videos to react to. Oh my gosh, we're almost at thirty thousand! All right, so let's choose some stuff: antelope, birdhouse, moose, and reindeer enclosure. Moose and reindeer enclosure. Which one? Is... Okay, yeah, it's one of those. So I'm gonna plop that one down. We don't want to plop that one down. Yeah, right there. All right. So we've got our first one. Oh wow, this ground is not flat. I mean, I guess that's actually, that's not a big problem. That actually kind of looks nice. It is. All right, we'll keep it. So now we need to build a path to it so people can actually get to it. Um, yeah, we'll build one right here. Yeah, there we go. And then, yeah, so it's like you, you got to get up there. And then, all right, let's keep the, let's keep the money flowing. So we've got the moose and reindeer closure. That was our $10,000. Now we've got our $15,000, the birdhouse, which actually, that fits pretty nicely over here. Ooh, yeah, well, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. All right, now we just need $2,000 more. Toronto or Detroit, but I really can't tell. No, it's, it's not Toronto or Detroit. It is the United States, so Toronto is definitely out. Um, but someone has already mentioned uh, Chicago, and uh, Chicago. I said it was. It's it's like a couple of states. I guess a little bit more maybe than a couple of states, but it's yeah. It's like three within three or four states. I want to say of Chicago. Let me actually double check because I'm trying to like make sure I'm not going crazy because I think it's just three states away officially. Yeah, so I mean, technically, I guess technically it's only two states away. So. So we got that going. <laughs> Park area info. Hmm. I wonder if we should increase the money. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to make it 15. So, there we go. 
Oof, we need to expand industry and we don't have uh, we don't have offices yet. Offices count as industry. Although we technically if any of these are really available, but I don't think any of them are. Not yet. We can paint the areas for them, but yeah. But no, not Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> Keep on guessing. Oh, we do have the post office. We should set a post office down. Um, hmm. We want to build it. Something that gets the most coverage. I think right there is good. That's going to give most coverage to. the people All right just a few thousand oh we can do it all right antelope enclosure wonder if we should spread some of this out I wonder if I kind of want to put like a little pathway down this way and have it going off of that. That off. Yeah, because I like that's what I'm thinking. Like something like down here. Kind of make it just make it a little interesting. And then which one was it? It was this one. Yeah, that's I like that. And then we can hopefully get something else down this way. Philadelphia PA, you are correct. You've got it, Emerson. Philadelphia PA. You get the applause, the thumbs up. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I need to expand some of the industry over here. See, I just realized we've got all of this going from there. I don't think we need, we don't need going that far. Most of those, but we do need to just have it just, you know, let's try to keep it out of the way of stuff as best possible. So we want to expand up that way too. I think what I want to do, turn that on. Ah, turn it on. There we go. It's 90. Kind of breaks it up a little bit, makes it a little bit interesting. Let's paint this kind of buffer of retail spaces. And then paint that, get some of that industry in there. Would you rather live in a rural, suburban, or city area? You know, I that's something I've thought about a lot in my life, actually. Because, you know, I mean, I've grown up mostly in the suburbs. So for me, the suburbs are just like super comfortable i mean you know driving around in a car and all of that just it just you know that's kind of what i'm used to i've done the city setting when i lived in pittsburgh granted it was you know oakland so it was the you know campus basically but it still does have a very city feeling plus you have the buses to get to the city easily um so you know that was really nice to kind of have that like you know, be able to go anywhere sort of thing without dealing with a car and being able to walk out of your door and not walk that far and have tons of, you know, restaurants and stuff. But it's also kind of like it's just it's super busy and it's just like it's it's kind of hard to like calm down and chill sometimes when you're in a city. And especially then 
getting everywhere too it makes it harder to have a car so if you need to get somewhere that's not easy to get without a car you know um and then for rural i've never really done full-on rural living but i did rural like you know i've done stays of rural life uh, especially going to new jersey and staying like i guess it's only a couple of days but you know, just kind of like being farm areas where you're kind of far away from stuff. But like, I guess in, in today's day and age too, depending on the rural area you're living, it's almost like just suburban light in a sense, because with a car, you can kind of get to the suburbs from most rural areas, at least on the East Coast. I'm sure once you kind of get out further and further west, it's not quite the same. Um but yeah i don't know i guess i guess probably suburban would probably be more of my number one but like interesting question with that though is like when i stayed in amsterdam i was just blown away by how that city was where it is it's a city where you do have that city center but then you have a huge huge amount of areas around the city that are still amsterdam and the main transport is biking and then you do have like the public transport is beyond anything I've ever experienced in the U.S. Much better, um, you know, fairly close to some cities, but nowhere near as efficient uh, overall. And that was just so interesting because that was so different than any sort of city feeling I've ever had before, even though it was still kind of a city. Um, has your family ever been farmers since coming to America? That is what brings me to rural areas, many gener generations of family. So yes, uh, in fact, my family uh, were part of a famous farming community in the U.S. in southern New Jersey known as the Alliance Colony. It was the first successful Jewish agricultural community in the U.S. And um, the whole idea was that it was all these Jews from Russia who had this idea that if they came to America and created farming communities there, basically do productive work as farmers, that not only would it be beneficial for them because America was the land of opportunity, but it was also beneficial for Jews overall because in their mind, the big reason why anti-Semitism was so abundant in their time was because people view Jews as being in unproductive jobs, bankers, accountants, lawyers, or, uh, you know, intellectual, well, I, I guess not necessarily, into, you know, depending on the area there were, but there were a lot of intellectual Jews at that time. And just, you know, just unproductive work is what they, they saw it as. So they came over in 1882 and became farmers in Southern New Jersey and stayed as farmers until maybe I think the early 1920s. Uh, we're not quite sure when they left, but that's where I've kind of done my rural stays is going to visit New Jersey and our the neighbor the people that were the neighbors of my ancestors their descendants uh are very friendly with I'm, I'm friends with them i'm friends with a lot of the descendants of alliance you know me being me i contacted tons of them created a facebook group but even more we've done a reunion and a lot of the other descendants are extremely into the whole ancestry and you know all of the history of it and so there's like documentaries about it going on and you know a lot just a lot of cool stuff happening with it and um one of the groups of descendants is buying up a lot of the land there so uh i can't imagine rural new jersey compares to places like north dakota yeah i don't know that it what's interesting though is you know i said that it's the first successful jewish community but it wasn't the first actual jewish community in the u.s and there were a whole bunch of them at that time. It was basically this group known as Amolam, which I've done a video about this on the main channel. So if you don't remember that video, definitely check it out. Because that was actually one of the videos I made that I was like, I really wish that it got more. Because uh, the title of the video actually is um, Zionist, uh, Amolam, Zionism's twin brother, because they both came up at the same time out of the same uh, movement known as Haskalah which is the Jewish enlightenment. And basically they both came up at the same time out of the same ideals, but kind of veering in different directions. But a lot of people that were heavily involved in early Zionism, proto-Zionism in the 1880s were also involved in Amolam, or at the very least were very 
directly connected with some of the people or a lot of the people in Amo Wong. So, but what's in, where I was getting at is you say North Dakota, and I think there were communities in North Dakota, there was communities in Oregon, um, Colorado, but like I think there were a few in North Dakota. Unless I'm thinking of something, for some reason I'm mixing it up with somewhere else. So, all right. Slowly building up stuff. We're building up a new neighborhood over here, so we're going to have to kind of come up with a name for that, too. Basically, I think what we're trying to do, we're just trying to get to uh, our next milestone of 4,000, which we're not far from, especially with all of the... Uh, demand we have we should be able to i'd have to look for those in north dakota that's new info to me oh yeah yeah definitely um if you just look up am olam a m o l a m north dakota Let's see i can tell you where they were oh it's south dakota not north dakota south dakota i got that wrong okay <laughs> But uh, yeah, let's see. Post a link in the chat. All I hear about is the Russian Germans who came mostly because people have documented every second of most of their lives there were so little. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Volga Germans, uh, like the, the video I did on Mr. Beat's family, if you saw that one, because he descends from Volga German ancestry that went to Kansas. Um, I mean, I don't know, you know, when I did the research on the Volga Germans, I mean, it, it's not like there's a ton of them, but I also wasn't really like, it wasn't necessarily like it was super easy research. Granted, I found someone who had already kind of done a lot of the in-depth research, but, um, it wasn't like, it, it reminded me very much of Jewish research and that there is stuff available but it's not a ton but i guess maybe the communities that once they came over it's well documented and that's kind of the same thing i mean it just varies it's just you know who stays around who remembers it who makes a big deal of remembering it and that's really kind of what it comes down to i mean a lot of the stuff that a lot of the videos that i try to make that are non-youtuber family trees videos sometimes especially the historical ones are the ones that i try to make about stuff that maybe you're pieces of history not as well discussed you know like the portuguese jewish community of amsterdam you know heavy interest of mine it feels like you know there's not a whole lot of material out there that succinctly talks about it you have to find pieces here and there and that amalam story is the same way um, i noticed that in mr beats too there's a whole library dedicated to their families at north dakota state university if i remember right uh, it's a people with a lot of pride and that is what keeps our history alive. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of how it, it always is. You know, the people that keep pride in it and keep it alive, that's how it stays alive. And so, you know, yeah. Yeah. All right. We need to, we need to get back to the gameplay. <laughs> I mean, I, I still will talk to you all but I definitely need to, we need to expand our city. We need to get to our, uh, going let's put in some more oh yeah that's what i was gonna do i was gonna put put in some more roads um trying to oh well, yeah let's expand a big old block <laughs> i'm just gonna do that and then paint the rest of it just completely just industry we're just like killing the ground over here. It's one of the interesting things about this game too, is like as you build, you know, as you do the industry stuff or whatever, it really gets uh, gets going. Let's see, Genealogy Grove is a possible name. That's actually a really good name for, uh, especially a place if there's a lot of uh, trees and stuff. Like actually that might not be a bad, I think that might be a good name for whatever this new little area that we're creating over here is. Um, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's deleting. We don't want to delete. Great. So this is genealogy growth. This 
hassles will be part of it. Take out the beachfront, because I think once I build the beachfront, I'll make that its like own thing. Because it needs to be like a two. One of the things with these districts is you can create, eventually we'll be able to create different types of districts as this tab right here. And so it'll be like tourism districts or leisure districts. And basically what that means is like tourism district, it's going to be buildings that are like touristy like buildings. And then um, the leisure districts are kind of like, you know, late night areas. So like dance clubs and stuff. Mitochondria Manor. That's a good one, too. I like Mitochondria Manor. Um, I wonder if... Oh, that's, I wonder if I should b make this just a kind of small neighborhood like this right here, or if I should also include all of this up here, because I feel like a lot of the stuff up here, it's going to be its kind of like own thing. I think that's going to make sense. That old... sense have this road kind of be like the, the cut off all right um so what i want to do since i'm doing that we're gonna fill that out filled all of that out already uh let's do like a whole big old block right there and you know what? We're going to make this entire block retail. Just try to block a lot of that noise. All right. Now we should hopefully get up to our 4,000 people pretty soon. Heritage Hamlet. Oh, yeah. We need Heritage. All right. Genie. All right. We need to choose which one of these is Genealogy Grove and which one is Heritage. All right. Well, Heritage. Actually, you know what? This one, this one will be good. Heritage Heights. That's... I like that, Charlie. I like that. So, oh yeah, Maven, Maven said Heritage Hamlet too, or Heights, yeah. Um, and then Heather Heights. Uh, I think this will be Genealogy Grove. Yeah, Genealogy Grove. So if it's actually, since we'll do Genealogy Grove, let's just kind of make it, we're going to throw in some trees. I wonder if there's, I wonder if we can find, if they have like fruit trees specifically, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Trees with leaves. Uh, flower trees. Sugar maples. Let's see sugar maples, yeah. Where, where it lets us throw I guess we, we need to let genealogy grow grow a little bit something with bay for waterfront yeah yeah something with bay 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 <laughs> right. actually one thing I do want to see. So I recently learned about this stuff. So we can set it so it has different feels to it. So let's do, for Autosome Hills, we can do Industrial Evolution. And that changes like the building. So Genealogy Grove, let's make it European Suburbia. So let's, actually we'll expand Genealogy Grove. Um, how do we want to expand it? Because we're going to have a street coming this way. Ooh, okay. So this street is going to come up to this one. Yeah, that looks good. Migration Bay. That's good. Migration Bay. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Migrant Bay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like Migrant Bay. That's pretty good. Um, ooh, we'll just keep that as kind of like some big thing. That's kind of cool. 
All right, let's make sure we've got it all set. We got Genealogy Grove. We need to make sure we have our pumping stage. Oh yeah, that's right, it's all set. Um, all right, so we're gonna fill up Genealogy Grove. You know what? I'm gonna have these streets kind of extend, but it's gonna be like a fun. Uh, I kind of I don't like the angle of that. I'm gonna make this a super windy road. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. And then this one I think will work better as kind of like a more realistic. Yeah, that's better. Why did I hear AutoZone Hills? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I did say AutoZone, so, you know, AutoZone. See, that's what I need to do too. I need to start using my musical skills a little bit more with what I've been doing. So if you all go back and watch some of my older stuff, um, the music that I have as the intro for a lot of my videos and uh, including the quick genealogy tips, those were all things that were either from my band or that I actually like made on my own. And yeah, proud of that. All right, let's, let's try to get to this full thousand. Wait, what just, oh yeah. Look, it's rebuilding now that I told it to change. Ooh, look at this. Our zoo just leveled up. All right, so we need to expand the zoo too. So let's see, what, what, what new buildings do we have? So let's look at the small ones. Everything is the same. All right, so we had up to the antelope enclosure. Now we've got bison, insect amphibian house, and the Targier house. So let's see. Oh, this is one of those big ones. It's kind of like its own like little. So we'll do right there. And this one, I think, yeah, that's perfect right there. And the Targier house. I don't know what a Targier is. What is a Targier? Enclosure facilities designed to house Targiers, an exotic type of primate with special needs. Oh, okay, interesting. I wonder if we should put something on this side. What does that mean, T? Path or road access required? Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. That thing's, that thing's up there. I will say it is kind of cool. It's like a tiered zoo. Like having it like that with these little hills. Yeah, the bison enclosure. All right, so. Oh, yeah, we have our unique buildings. So let's build a path down. Oh, that's too steep. All right, that's fine. Because that probably makes more sense anyway. And then we can do like a path here and then this can be a thing of something <laughs> actually you know where's let's see where are, where are our bathrooms we've got bathrooms over here so we can put but we'll put we'll put some bathrooms over here for people make it easy so that they don't have to be walking crazy Ooh, and we'll put this little sign this little sign right there it deserves to go right there and then Where's our bathrooms? New restrooms. Um, you know, we'll put, we'll put the restrooms right here. That's good. Um, okay, actually, we do one thing I haven't really done a lot of is this stuff, which I guess there really isn't there really isn't much there, <laughs> there for the extra extra stuff. But I guess we can kind of play around with some of this stuff if we wanted, like put some like fountains in here or something. You know, just kind of spruce the place up a bit. I don't even know where a fountain would fit. Yeah, there's no nice place for a fountain yet. 
But what we could do, ooh, yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. Delete all these trees. We're gonna build like a little kid's playground right here. So what we'll start with is the zoo has these little path things. A farm zoo would be cool. Yeah, I wish they gave more um, leeway with some of this stuff to do that. Uh, that uh, I was hoping it'd go under the pathway. But whatever. All right. We can do kind of like a... Uh, do I... Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just thinking of building like a little kind of kids play area sort of thing. I don't really know if any zoos have something like that, but I just figured why not. Right, so got like a little thing there, a little thing there. We'll have some uh, some seesaws. Well, yeah, this is like a little kind of a big little park. A couple of seesaws. Do some seesaws over here. Thing there. Whatever this is. And yeah, that's I guess that's about <laughs> that's about it for the children's playground, but we'll <laughs> We'll put some some benches in too, so the parents can sit and watch their little brats run around. So. Well, whatever, and then yeah, right there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Little, little, whatever the, whatever the hell there. <laughs> and then now uh, let's see, zoo street light. We'll put in some street lights for this little thing, so the kids can see themselves playing. Ugh, that's why I need to get anarchy, so they can just bypass that stuff where it doesn't let you so it's one of the mods i need to get still looks good all right yeah swings <laughs> i don't know if they have any swings they might somewhere i don't think so though lots of Lots of stuff. Oh, wow, wait, I'm losing citizens? What's going on there? I've got too much going on. Losing citizens. It's not good. I'm trying to get up to 4,000. Oh, because it completely took down all of that. Are there any genealogy games? You know, I'm not sure. I, I, Tropico kind of has a little bit of genealogy to it. I know that there there was like some game that someone told me about that was like a genealogy game where it was like it was like royals where you could have them inbreed to the point that they're like you know Habsburg chins and stuff. Um, but I don't know what the name of that game is. <laughs> So I don't, you know, I don't know. Um, wow. This area is like rebuilding, but it is taking a while. So this is, these buildings are from what's known as Industry Evolution. And it's one of the DLCs that I got. And I guess it basically just kind of gives us like, you know, like industrial revolution sort of feeling to the buildings, like very like, you know, early 20th century, late 19th century, you know, factories and stuff. Wow. 
Wow, genealogy grows big. All right, we're back up to a positive. Wow, we're making a lot of money. So we're going to be able to be able to build what we need to. There's a new piece of land available for purchase. Oh, when did we get that available? I haven't even expanded to the part that we wanted to. Um, all right. Now what's over there? Is that... Ooh, I'm going to get this because I just realized... Actually, all right. So... I mean, I'm thinking either this Western or this Eastern square. Let me know what you all think. Uh, but I'm thinking either this Western square because it has all this stuff going on with the railroad over here. I don't know exactly what, but something. And then, or this Eastern, because then we have the ocean front and we can do, you know, a lot of stuff with that. Uh, do you know anything about Latin American genealogy, specific Salvadoran genealogy? So I know a little bit about Latin American genealogy, but I do not know anything about Salvadoran genealogy. Like, not a bit. Not a bit, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I know a little bit of Latin American, though. All right. Hope you all don't mind me cracking my knuckles. What am I bad habits all right so let me know east or west east or west which way do you think i should go you decide i would say western yeah that's i mean that's kind of what stands out to me just because we do have whatever is going on here um seven thousand buys is this more eastern is cheaper Although I don't think at this point saving, you know, $2,300 is really that big. Waterfront. So waterfront would be our Eastern. So I'm getting, I'm getting multiple. So if we have someone else in the chat who wants to choose, we've got Emerson saying Western. We've got Monique saying Waterfront, which I assume means Eastern. Because technically we still have Waterfront over here. We have all these kind of fun islands we can play with if we do go in there. Yeah, we can do a shipping port here if we do this. Because uh, the way the shipping ports work, you have to set the uh, path. And so to set the path, you have to own the tile. So we'd have to own that tile if we wanted it. So granted, we're kind of a ways away from a shipping port because we haven't even started any industry yet. Um, you know, I mean, the only industry we could technically do is fishing but really not much we have here oh we just have warehouses so all right anybody else in chat i see we've got it uh, we've got more than two people from what the numbers are telling me but maybe not everyone's actually in chat <laughs> people just leaving this on Western, waterfront, which way do we go? Eastern or Western? Western islands are good for tourism. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Western islands are good for tourism. And then we've got all that railroad stuff. Granted, we bought that Northern Square for the railroad connection, but the Northern Square doesn't quite have that same thing. Actually, one thing we should look at, let's see, uh, what are our natural resources? So if we go West, we do start getting a little bit of oil. But not much. Honestly, if we go east, then the next chance, then we'll have a tile either over here, or technically 100% water. And then we'll be able, we, we might be able to do like a bunch of oil stuff too. So, yeah, I'm really torn. I'm torn. But if I, if I have someone else other than Emerson or Monique say something now... Let them, I'll let them be the tiebreaker. Basically, you get to choose. Do we go east or do we go west? Which I'm sure is not making Emerson or Monique happy. Like, we're putting our ideas out there. Now some other person gets to choose. Unless there's more than one other person, then maybe, you know, can lean, uh, lean another way.
All right. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm just going to have to choose. <laughs> uh, buh, 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 buh. Heads or tails. That's a good idea. All right. We're going to flip. Uh, we're going to flip something. I don't have any coins over here. What do I have that I can flip over here? Do like that. Uh, but da, 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 what can you flip? Uh, you know what? I bet there's a thing on my phone. Let's see, heads or tails. Okay, so I've got. All right, so heads is gonna be west, tails will be east. So we're flipping. Heads west, tails east. Tails, so we're going east. We're going shoreline. Going shoreline. All right. So probably not a bad idea since we do technically already have the railroad connection. But whatever those things are, I don't know what they are, but they're something. So we'll expand this way. Which means we're going to want to move this eventually down like way over here because we basically you know we don't want to we don't want to cause issues from water down that way because then it's not much of a fun ocean front all right so let's let's, let's keep building we still need to get to four thousand people thankfully the industry is coming back so people there's going to be more demand for people moving in the good thing is, too, that our money has been constantly coming in. All right. Trash is apparently an issue over there. I did set up a trash thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did right here. Do we have our... No, we don't. I think I'm going to set up a second trash thing. Where? But where? All right. You know what? We'll... We'll keep it. We'll keep it over here in AutoZone Hills. AutoZone. I should make a. Uh, I should make a little jingle like that, just to play in my videos every time I say something. AutoZone. AutoZone. I love how beautifully this circle's working. Like just seeing all the traffic flowing so nicely. I didn't do any, um, so like in this game, one of the things I learned is uh, what's known as uh, uh, blah, 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 road mathematics, I think, which is basically, you know, when you have a turn off, you have it go down a lane and all that, but I did not apply that here. I've been watching a lot of City Skylines games when I'm just like, just like, you know, doing stuff where I just want to have videos on in the background or something. So, all right, I'm just kind of letting everything build. So we do need to figure out what else we're going to want to build next because we're going to be getting up to 4,000 not too long, hopefully. More houses building. Once kind of demand kind of hits. wonder if I want to, yeah, we'll fill this up. I know it's gonna, not going to fill up quite yet, but just kind of get that set because I want to put some housing in there basically whatever's on this kind of main road this like main road is going to be retail and stuff oh, whoa, whoa, not <laughs> so, and these people get to live by the zoo Building. Right, we're, gonna, we're gonna fill in genealogy grove. Just just let the growth keep coming. We want we want to hit that next milestone. Four thousand people. You know what? While I'm thinking about it, I can, I'm just gonna move this thing. Yeah, the current goes that way, so we'll move it there. I can delete this stuff. And what 
we'll do is we'll just do, <laughs> do just some long thing. Doesn't need to be pretty there, but then more importantly, we need to get this connected. And then actually, how's our sewage? Let's just we're just gonna plop another one of these bad boys down here. Too close. There we go. That's good. Seriously? Oh, <laughs> lame. Lame. Let's see if that helps. Alright, there we go. Oh, hello, Cataly. Thank you for joining us. Do people live by landfill, get cheaper housing? I imagine so. So one interesting thing is the game does have property values somewhere. Um, and it, it's somewhere. Oh yeah, of course the money one, land value. So you can see, you can see the land value basically the more green it gets the higher the land value so you see really high up there here but then look near that industry it's like not much but like near the park ton of ton of big land value this area right here this is a pedigree heights is the heights of living how is endogamy point going it's going well it's going well so just to kind of recap for, for anyone coming in, we've got these districts areas so far. So we've got Root Patch District, Charlie Way, Pedigree Heights, Autosome Hills, Genealogy Grove, Heritage Heights, a couple of heights in there, Haplow Hills. Um, you know, I kind of want to, since I'm in here, I'm just going to clean those up so it looks a little nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See them over here. Whatever is going to be on the other side of this road, that's going to be something other than genealogy growth. Right, right, right there is going to be our whatever. Should I get a Y chromosome DNA test or get an onosomal test for one of parents slash grandparents? I mean, it really depends on what your question is that you're trying to answer with the test. Um, but I mean, the... <laughs> The best way that, you know, would be the preferable way is to, you know, do both technically. Um, but, I mean, for the most part, if you're trying to get the most bang out of your book altogether, getting your parents or even better, your grandparents to do an autosomal DNA test, that's going to give you the most. That's going to give you the most because Y chromosome is just giving you one line. So Y chromosome is perfect if you want to, you know, look at you know your specific paternal line from whatever so like maybe it's your mom's dad's line then you'll want your grandfather to do a y chromosome test if you're trying to look at his patrilineal line only but if you're trying to look at anything beyond that it's autosomal um, but the more family members you can get to test the better and if you have male family members who are willing to do both that's even better that's the that's your best scenario sort of thing um, all right so we had we had a couple of more people hopping in here but it looks like they kind of all hop back out um all right so let's see i want to i think what i want to do i'm going to create some bus lines we don't have we don't have terrible traffic Traffic's actually pretty good, but I kind of want to don't run. I don't want to run into that. So I'm going to start a bus depot. And you know what? We'll just put it we'll put it right here near the zoo. So the zoo kind of has its own. Well, no. We'll put the we'll put it right here. That's a good spot. There we go. All right. So now we need to create lines. So the first line, I love the neighborhood names. Yeah, all genealogy related. So <laughs> make it really fun. All right, so we've got, where was our main entrance? Yeah, the main entrance was kind of like up here. 
So we're gonna have a bus stop there and then going this way. So we'll kind of have it stop. We'll kind of have just like a citywide bus. So one that basically stops Pedigree Heights. Uh, then we'll have one that stops. Yeah, we'll stop there. Then we'll have a stop. Yeah, up here. That's good. Uh, then we'll have, I want to go by the zoo, basically. Um, yeah, I think trying to get it to line up. There we go. That's what I want right there. Then we'll have a stop right here. We'll have him come back up this way. Come here. And do we want to go further or just end that line? Yeah, let's end the line because then we'll we'll kind of keep it as like Ancestral Park right now is like the center. So this is our. We're gonna call this the uh, Eastern. This is that is Eastern. Yeah, that's Eastern. Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna be that's gonna be our Eastern line that we just made, and we need to make one going the other way. So the Eastern line, Eastern line up. I'll call it. And then we need to have it going the opposite direction. There, stop there, stop there. Where does that stop? Right there. Stop right there. Other stop was right there. And there, and complete the line. And we're gonna do this eastern line down. And let's change the colors just a tad. All right, so we've got our first bus line. Now we need to do a bus line that'll be the western side. But what we'll do is it's going to be here because this is going to be in front of the park. I guess it'll be kind of like a uh, transfer area. So uh, come on, let me create a new line. There we go. Great line. So it's going to go up this way. Do, do, do. Yeah, up there. New one right there. One right there. One right. Yeah, I guess right there is good. Actually, yeah, we'll do it further down. We'll do it down here. And then complete the line. Yay! So this is going to be our western, which we're going to make a very different color. Western line up. We need to go the opposite direction. Line. Oh, whoop. Stop. Stop. I think this is one of the reasons why I really do enjoy this game as well is putting in a lot of like the kind of just like, you know, transportation stuff and the complexity of it that you can do with it. And just, yeah, it's just so cool. It's just so much fun. All right. So we're going to kind of go similar colors. Yeah, that's good. So we've got two made bus lines. And that should actually hopefully bring up the, the value of homes too. Oh, that's what those colors are, the map behind you. <laughs> I don't know if that's those the colors there because that's an old map. I think the map I have behind me is 19th century. But it's kind of it's something like that. Kind of, you know, it's more of, I think, county lines and stuff stuff like that oh wow i've already been streaming for an hour and 42 minutes so 
Alright, building up, building up. I mean, we've, we're getting a, a pretty nicely built city. This looks really cool, though, with, like, the old school factory buildings. With all the smoke coming out, though, it's just like, oh, man. And, like, all of these dead. Okay, so what one thing I think we can do, I don't know if it helps a lot, but I think it does help, is when you put vegetation, you know, it's just, you know, sucks up some of that CO2. So we've got a lot of that extra space here. So just kind of throw some of that vegetation down where we can help kind of clean up the air as best possible. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> do what we can, do what we can. All right. Building up, building up. How are we doing on our water consumption, sewage? Oof, our electricity. We got to up the electricity. Oh, you know what? I think... Did I ever mess with it? Oh, yeah, no, I never did. Okay, or at least I put it back. So, all right. And I've ne I haven't had to pull out a single loan yet. I haven't had to pull out a single loan. All right. So, yeah, they're running low on electricity. Wow, yeah, we've, we're pumping way too. All right, what do we even have? Because it's basically we've got these 12,000 a piece, and they only do up to 20 megawatts. And then this thing, uh, we're just going to have to do this for... The, the, the bang for the buck. It's, it just is what it is, unfortunately. So let's... Yeah, I think that that's right there. All right. So, Autosome Hills. How's our park doing? Total visitors until next time. All right. Yeah, it slowed down a bit. all everything's flowing water over here is cleared up now that we've got our sewage dumping down over here so we'll uh we'll make the tourism side over here and we'll do the industry port side over here with all the all of that poop water once we eventually get there all right well we need to i guess we need to expand into another area um I wonder, I wonder if we should make a suburbs or not yet. Actually, I, I guess I kind of want to hold off on doing a suburbs just yet. Um, let's extend this down and we'll create kind of like another little neighborhood down this way. Um, so this is our kind of main... Collector. Actually, yeah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> should have been bigger. I think I should have made it bigger. What destroy stuff? No, it won't. Right, perfect. So that's perfect. So yeah, because this road is going to be seriously serious main road. Um, and but I do want to. It's going to destroy all that. But this road really should be. All right, maybe we'll, we'll kind of mess with that stuff in a bit. All right. I think I'm at the point where I don't need to keep worrying about using dirt roads to try to just kind of keep the money succinct. Build up to the park. Because once it gets further from here, we definitely want to have it curving. actually go ahead and that's a nice little thing and we're gonna need to delete that and we're gonna do the same thing over here maybe not no not yet not yet we definitely want to make these 
city blocks. Um, do I want to have it go in there? Yes, I do. That sounds good. That sounds good. All right, we'll have this one go here. And then I'll finish this stuff kind of in a bit. All right. So we need to make sure we've got all of our whatever. All right. A few years the commercials are going to say, did you live or work in AutoZone Hills? If so, join this class action lawsuit. You suffer from respiratory disease. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this is kind of like the Flint, Michigan of, uh, of endogamy point, unfortunately. Let's let get like that. That's good. Wunderbar. Now let's paint in some stuff. So I want to keep the three and three like that. And then this stuff, just big neighborhood, big old neighborhood, whatever this is down here. We're going to need to come up with a name for um, and We're going to do it on this side too. So let's paint this area. Yeah, I think this whole this whole area that'll be good. All right, so what what are we gonna call this one? Gave us another heights name. I don't know if I want to do a heights. Um, so I mean, just something genealogy wise that we could uh, use. Where's some terminology? I mean, I'm like I know some stuff that I'm thinking in my head is maybe doing some 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 stuff named after big time genealogists or something, um, and then maybe some stuff after uh, I don't know I don't know. We need to come up with something. What are we going to call this area? It's kind of southern. Um, Oh, gosh, what's a good name? What's a good genealogy name? We've done autosomes. Testing. What's something? Hmm. Something. Census something. Draft something. Heritage. I mean, we've already done endogamy, exogamy, pedigree, autosome. I mean, we can go even deeper in the science that, you know, homozygosity or something. Ancestry trace. <laughs> um, call it something. Got to call it something. Um, I'm like looking around my desk trying to see all the genealogy stuff I have, see if there's anything that like catches my eye of like, ooh. Um, hmm. Pedigree collapse, endogamy, exogamy. I mean, I guess let's. We haven't said, done anything cousin wise, so cousin something, cousin, cousin. No, it's not a city. You know, we'll call it Cousin Square, because this area is kind of like a big square. Cousin Square. There you go. All right, let's let that build. So, all right, we should be hitting 4,000 soon. And uh, I'm about to hit two hours on the stream, so I think that's a good place to end it. So, there we go. We've got our busy town. So, yeah, so I think this is... Uh, this is where I'm going to end the stream for today or tonight. <laughs> um, but thank you everybody for joining me. Like I said earlier, uh, the gaming stuff will be random, but Friday at two o'clock, hopefully every time, every week I'll be doing uh, a live stream. So, um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun today. Keep uh, thinking up some good genealogy puns for stuff we can name cities after. So 
thank you once again. I'm the I'm the genie vlogger. I'm out. It'll let me.